Today we are going to study about the filtering in AIGRP. So in AIGRP we can do filtering by number one by the using extended access list. Second one is using extended access list. Third one is using prefix list. The last one is using route map. So these are the three methods. Actually, in these three methods, the upper upper three methods, in the upper three method, what we do, we match the network and network length or you can say in popular term we match the prefix and prefix length And and they will also be associated the deny or permit statement matching and also taking the decision denying and permit. When we apply them into the EIGRP process, for example, router EIGRP hundred. Okay, router EIGRP hundred in the form of distribute list. I write distribute list and the distribute list name that here is that I am calling the access list, ACLs, prefix list. Okay, if I would be using prefix list, then I will type the prefix here. Otherwise, if I'm using the ACL, then I can directly write the number here. Okay, number or name, whatever. And there will be the keyword in or out. And there will be option of using the interfaces. Okay. So if I don't use this interface that is optional, then it will be activated for the all interfaces inwards or all interfaces outwards, the distribute list. And this will be and this either we are calling the access list or we are calling the ACL or we are calling the route map also. But route map I haven't discussed about it, so we will be discussing it now. In the route map or the route map, what we do? First, we create the ACL or prefix list. ACL can be either standard or extended, with, with always with the 
permit statement. That is the step number A first. Always with permit statement. Permit statement. Okay. Then we call the ACL into the route map. Okay. We form a route map. And then the route map we call the ACL. Okay. And that route map is applied, is called into the distribute list. For example, as you were calling the extended ACL list or the piece prefix list, so that route map will be called into the distribute list. For example, router EIGR 300. Router EIGR 300 and distribute list. Route map name. Either inbound or either outbound. Or which interface. Okay, so these are the steps that we will go through. Okay, so, so let's first, because for example, we are having a scenario here. We have a router one, we have router two connected to router three. Okay. Suppose here we have lots of loopback. For example, I have 192.168.1.0/24, and 192.168.1.0/24, and 192.168. 3.0/24. Okay. And these loopback are being advertised into the EIGRP. They are running the EIGRP process. EIGRP 100, let's say. Okay. So now we will be doing the filtering on it. So, for example, I want to fil filter the routes. On this interface of R2 that is connected to the R3, that is the interface 0 slash 0. Okay, for example, this interface connected to the 0 slash 0, 0 slash 1, and it is 0 slash 1. Ethernet interfaces. Now, these routes and the network in between them is 1.2.1.0 slash 24, and it between them is 2. Dot 3 dot 2 dot 0 slash 24 okay so i will be doing now all of these routes will be going to r2 with the eigrp process and it will be advertising it to the r okay now i want that r2 should not advertise these three routes to r3 so i will do the filtering on the outboard interface of e0 by 0 Let's see how we will do the, these are the routes that I want to filter. So in the R2, first of all, I will make an access list. That is, I am doing it by using the standard access list. Access list, let's say standard is one. Okay. Deny host. Uh, you could use directly the mask deny host because I will be using summarization for all the three routes. So these three routes come under the block size of four. So it will be 192.168.0.0, and the mask would be the 0 0.0.3.0. So that will be the mask and you have also to write the permit any statement of 
permit any. Okay, so we are done with the access list. So now the access list, what will done? The routes will come. It, we have denied the match routes through the access list. The decision has been taken by this statement that all of the route that will start from uh, 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, that is a block size of 4, even 1, 192.168.0.0 to 4 has been denied by this statement by, by matching these the 6 and the wildcard well. Now we go into the router EIGRP process. For example, let's say I'm running 100, then I will write it here. Distribute. List. Call it the name, that is the name should be matched, that is of the this. Access list you have configured here. So that is this name that should match. Distribute list one. Okay. Then inbound or outbound. For example, I'm writing the inbound. Okay, I will also specify the interface. Interface zero slash zero. Okay, so that is our task. Now we will do the practical of it. this topology in which I have created the whole loopbacks and on the EIGRP process in this and on the Ethernet E0 by 0 the, the network running is 1.2.1.0 slash 24 and I have also enabled the EIGRP process 100 on it and on R2 <coughs> the uh, interface address is Ethernet 0 by 1 is 1.2.1.1 and I have also enabled the EIGRP in both the interfaces and on Ethernet 0 by 0 is 2.3.2.0 so let's check it out uh, these routes are propagating to R3 or not. So let's first go to the R1 and drive down the command show IP interface D. Okay, so these are the three loopbacks that I have created. This is the Ethernet 0 by 0 and show IP EIGRP interface. So on all of them, the uh, EIGRP process is enabled the process is AS100. Okay, and now show IP EIGRP neighbor. Okay, so neighbor is 1.2.1.2. So let's move on to R2. On the R2, show IP interface brief. So it's Ethernet 0 by, uh, 0 by 1 that is connected to the R1 is 1.2.1.2, and that is connected to R3 is 2.3.2.3, and it is Ethernet 0 by 0 that is connected to R3 as per our diagram. As per our diagram. Okay. That's for our diagram, so we will move on to that R2 and see show IP EIGRP neighbors. So it must be having two neighbors, yeah. And on R3, if you move on to the R3, we would see show IP EIGRP, it would have in the neighbor that is R2, that is 2.3.2.2. Okay. And his neighbor is R3, that is 2.3 or 2.3. So let's see. Swipe it out. So it is getting all the three routes. That is from this interface, from this router, it is getting all these three routes. It is getting all these three routes. All these three routes are moving to the R3 via R2. Okay. You can see from here. Here, R3. So let's move on to the R2 and to the filter. First, I have to create the access list. So doing the standard access list. Access list one, deny for the network is 192.168.0.0 dot dot 
zero dot zero dot three dot two five five. Okay. And access is one from bit any. So let connect two T cell there. Now let's call the SSS into the router EIGRC hundred process. We'll call it distribute list. Distribute list one. Okay. In which direction that is out? And which in which interface? The interface that I am connected with is Ethernet zero by zero to the earth. Okay, that's it. Now let's see on the R3. Let the resync system because show IP route. It is still showing here, but let the resync message come. Now the resync has been done. No membership has changed. Now let's see the routing table. So the route has been removed. So have, we have filtered the route, and the route has been filtered even from the AIGRP topology table. Okay, you will not see any routes in the topology table. So actually, the distribute list for like that way, it uh, even <coughs> filter the route from the topology table. It won't allow the router to get into the router table. So that's what that was all the filtering for the standard access list. Thank you very much. Thank you.